गुड मॉर्निंग व्यूअर्स इन टूडेज वीडियो विल डिस्कस अबाउट क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड इन क्लास टेन इन क्लास इलेवन द टॉपिक्स आर सेम क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन सिक्वेंस सीरीज सेट थियोरी कम्बिनेशन कॉम्बिनेशन जस्ट सेम टॉपिक्स बट लिटिल बिट इन ऑफ हायर लेवल सो वॉट इज क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन ए एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो comma a not equal to zero represents a quadratic equation let alpha and beta be the roots of this equation we know x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2ic this is called sridhar acharya's formula सिधर आचार्य फॉर्मूला लेट अल्फा इज इक्वल टू माइनस बी प्लस रूट ऑफ आर ऑफ बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी बाई टू आई से एंड बीटा इज इक्वल टू माइनस बी माइनस रूट ऑफ आर ऑफ बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी बाई टू आई से देर फोर इफ आई फाइंड देयर सम अल्फा प्लस बीटा इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू आईस बी बाई टू आई से इफ यू फाइंड देयर सम प्लस बी प्लस दिस एंड माइनस दिस गेट कैंसल माइनस बी माइनस बी माइनस टू आईस बी बाई टू आई से दैट इज माइनस बी बाई वी नो The sum of the roots is equal to minus b by a. That is minus of coefficient of x by coefficient of x square. And find their product alpha into beta. Now find their product. You will get x plus y into x minus y. This is b square minus. b square minus 4ac by 4a square now b square and b square gets cancel minus minus plus this is 4ac by 4a square it implies c by a that is constant term constant term divided by coefficient of x square this is a well known facts now what is b square minus 4ac this is called discriminant this is called discriminant now we'll study characteristics of root for ax square plus bx प्लस सी इज इक्वल टू जिरो हर ए कमा बी कमा सी बिलंगस टू आर रियल नम्बर एंड स्म ए नट इक्वल टू जिरो दि भेलू डी दैट इज बी स्कोर माइनस फोर ए सी इज कल्ड डिस्क्रिमिनेट दि कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ रूट डिपेंड ऑन दिस वेल्यू number 1 when discriminant is greater than 0 the roots are real and distinct that is roots are real numbers and they are not equal they are distinct 
नंबर टू वेन बी इक्वल टू जीरो दि रूट्स आर रियल एंड इक्वल नंबर थ्री वेन डी इज लेस देन जीरो दि रूट्स आर imaginary and distinct now what is imaginary roots suppose if you are given square root of plus 9 it is equal to plus 3 but if i write square root of minus 9 it is undefined up to class 10 we say it is undefined but now we will write it as i root over of 3 sorry i th thrice i we can write root over of minus 1 as i this is called imaginary number imaginary number when we get something negative in inside square root we take the minus 1 uh, under square root as i that is if you say minus 3, 3 under square root it becomes i root 3 it's a imaginary number that is when the discriminant is negative we get a imaginary number that's why the roots are we can also say roots are complex also say roots are complex complex means a number has two parts one is real and one is imaginary we will study in next chapter it is called complex number a number has two part one is real and other part is imaginary multiplied by a imaginary number i it becomes an imaginary complex number now for d b square minus 4ac we can find the characteristics of root when d is positive the roots are real and distinct when d is equal to 0 the roots are real and equal and when d is negative roots are imaginary and distinct for example if you are given x square minus 3x plus 2 if you are asked to find the solutions then what will you do you will write x equal to minus b minus minus plus plus or minus b square 9 minus 4ac 4 to the 8 by 2 into 1 you will get 3 plus or minus 9 minus 8 1 if you take square root it is 1 by 2 answer is 3 plus 1 4 4 by 2 is 2 and 3 minus 1 is 2 2 by 2 is 1 roots are real and distinct they are distinct roots because they are unequal roots you can see the value of discriminant b square minus 4ac is positive here for example x square minus 4x plus 4 in this case the value of discriminant will be b square minus 4 is 16 minus 16 it becomes 0 that's why the roots are real and equal let's see for x equal to i'll write minus b minus minus plus 4 plus a minus b square minus 4 is 16 minus 16 by 2 into 1 i'll get 4 plus or minus 0 by 2 only 2 but you can also write x minus 2 whole square is equal to 0 there are how many factors there are two factors x minus 2 into x minus 2 that is x equal to 2 comma 2 for example if i take x square plus x square minus thrice x plus 5 will have discriminant equal to b square 9 minus 4ac 4 into 1 into 5 20 this is minus 11 now this is negative we'll have imaginary roots we can write x equal to minus b minus minus plus plus or minus square root 9 minus 20 by 2 into 1 we'll get 3 plus or minus 9 minus 20 that is minus 11 under square root you can write this as 3 plus a minus i root over 11 by 2 here it is minus 11 you can write square root of minus 1 as i 
so it becomes 3 plus or minus i root by 11 by 2 these are imaginary roots or you can say complex roots complex roots and they are also distinct because it is one is 3 plus and one is 3 minus so for discriminant a b c are real numbers the value is b square minus 4 ac the characteristics of roots depend on this value if it is positive roots are real and distinct for equal to 0 roots are real and equal and for negative roots are real and imaginary and distinct now we will see the graph of a quadratic equation or expression graph of quadratic function let y is equal to a x square plus b x plus c be a quadratic function be a quadratic function see you can write this as y is equal to if i take a common i will get x square plus b by a into x plus c it becomes y is equal to a into you can write x plus b by 2 i say whole square minus b square by 4 a square plus c that is y is equal to a into x plus b by 2 i say whole square this is c minus b square by 4 a this is a into x plus b by 2 i say whole square this is 4 ac minus b square by 4 so we can write y minus 4 ac minus b square by 4 a is equal to a into x plus b by 2 i say whole square this is a parabola equation of a parabola now just remember this equation of a quadratic function y is equal to a x square plus b x plus c represents a parabola represents a parabola for example you can take y is equal to x square minus thrice x plus 2 if i draw the graph of this function in with free hands we can get a parabola for example for x equal to 0 put 0 this is x this is y for x equal to 0 y will be 2 for x equal to 1 this is 0 for x equal to 2 this is 0 for x equal to 3 put 3 here 3 square 9 3 into 3 9 it is again 2 now let's draw the graph this point is x equal to 0 x equal to 1 this is x equal to 0 x equal to 1 x equal to x equal to 3 for x equal to 0 it is 2 for x equal to 1 it is 0 for x equal to it is again 0 it is again 0 and for x equal to 3 it is 2 the graph will be like this this is a parabolic figure parabolic figure so remember that the graph of the function y is equal to a x square plus b x plus c is a parabolic figure the parabolic figure now the direction of the parabola depends on the value of a if a is positive if a is positive then it will be a downward parabola and when a is negative it will be upward parabola remember for a positive 
it will be a downward parabola and for a negative it will be a upward parabola okay now we will see three defined cases case 1 for y is equal to a x square plus b x plus c where a comma b comma c belongs to r and small a not equal to 0 and discriminant is positive when discriminant positive then roots are real and distinct so when the value of a is greater than 0 the graph of this function will be downward parabola this is your y axis this is your x axis now let the roots are alpha and beta so you locate them alpha and beta like this and the graph will pass through the points alpha comma 0 alpha comma 0 is a point on the x axis and beta comma 0 is a point on the x axis that is the graph will intersect the x axis at two distinct points when the graph of a quadratic equation intersects the x axis at two distinct points we say that the equation has two distinct and real roots when a is negative the graph of the function will be like this this is your alpha this is your beta remember when the graph of y is equal to a x square b x plus c intersects the x axis at two distinct points we say that the roots are real and distinct okay now case 2 for discriminant is equal to 0 d equal to 0 when roots are equal when roots are equal the graph of y is equal to a x square plus b x plus c equal to 0 will touch the x axis at only one point so when a is positive the graph will be like this this point is your alpha is equal to beta now alpha and beta are not distinct they are equal and when a is negative the graph will be like this this point is your alpha and beta now they are equal roots they are equal roots when roots are equal that is d equal to 0 the graph of y is equal to a x square plus b x plus c will touch the x axis at one point and when the roots are real and distinct then the graph of y is equal to a x square plus b x plus c intersects the x axis at two distinct points ok now case 3 now case 3 when discriminant is less than 0 that is roots are imaginary roots are imaginary when discriminant is negative that is roots are imaginary the graph of y is equal to a x square plus b x plus c will not intersect the x axis or will not touch the x axis that is you can draw like this when a is positive the graph will be like this and when a is negative the graph will be the graph will be like this it will not touch or it will not intersect the x axis okay these are the three different cases of quadratic equation note one number one for a x square b x plus c is equal to zero given a not equal to zero number one when a comma b comma c belongs to q q means a b c are rational numbers what is rational numbers matlab when you express a number in 
p by q form where p is a integer and q is a integer and q not equal to 0 we can say it is a rational number for example root 2 is a irrational number because it cannot be expressed in p by q form for a b c belongs to q and small d greater than 0 that is not a perfect square not a perfect square that is below of d is not a perfect square then the roots are real sorry rational sorry irrational and distinct we can also say irrational roots irrational roots occur in pair occur in pair and they are conjugate of conjugate of each other they are of the form p plus root over q and p minus root over q they are conjugate of each other and they are irrational roots number 2 when a comma b comma c belongs to q and d is greater than 0 given it is a perfect square perfect square then the roots are rational and distinct rational and distinct number 3 when a comma b comma c belongs to r as i already said and b is equal to 0 b equal to 0 that is the coefficient of x is 0 and discriminant is negative discriminant is negative then roots are purely imaginary that means they are of the form i q and minus i root q number 4 when a comma b comma c belongs to r and d is negative then the roots are imaginary and conjugate of each other that is there of the form p plus i q and p minus i q you have to remember these four notes these are very important for board level questions now we will see the conditions of common root or common roots condition of common root oblique common roots number 1 for one common root for one common root if 
ए वन एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी वन एक्स प्लस सी वन इक्वल टू जीरो एंड ए टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी टू एक्स प्लस सी टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो हैव ए कॉमन रूट अल्फा देन वी कैन राइट ए वन अल्फा स्क्वायर बी वन अल्फा प्लस सी वन इक्वल टू जीरो एंड ए टू अल्फा स्क्वायर बी टू अल्फा प्लस सी टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ इफ वी अप्लाई क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन प्रोसेस विल गेट अल्फा स्क्वायर बाय बी वन सी टू माइनस बी टू सी वन अल्फा बाय C1 A2 टू माइनस सी टू ए वन इजिकल टू वन बाई ए वन बी टू माइनस ए टू बी वन देर फोर अल्फा स्क्वायर इजिकल टू बी वन सी टू माइनस बी टू सी वन ए वन बी टू माइनस ए टू बी वन एंड अल्फा इजिकल टू C1 A2 ए टू माइनस सी टू ए वन डिवाइडेड बाई ए वन बी टू माइनस ए टू बी वन इफ आई पोट द वैल्यू ऑफ अल्फा हियर विल गेट सी वन ए टू माइनस सी टू ए वन डिवाइडेड बाई ए वन बी टू माइनस ए टू बी वन होल स्क्वायर बी वन सी टू माइनस बी टू सी वन ए वन बी टू माइनस ए टू बी वन इफ आई कैंसल बोथ साइड्स विल गेट सी वन ए टू माइनस सी टू ए वन होल स्क्वायर इजिकल टू ए वन बी टू माइनस ए टू बी वन इन टू बी वन सी टू माइनस बी टू सी वन this is your condition for one common root so if we draw the graph of these two functions a1x square b1x plus c1 is equal to 0 and a2x square b2x plus c2 equal to 0 having one common root the graph will be something like this they will have a common root this is your alpha alpha is the common root of this two quadratic equation they have two distinct roots but they have a common root alpha which is the common root of two quadratic functions now for two common roots number 2 two, two common roots If a one x square b one x plus c one equal to zero and a two x square plus b two x plus c two equal to zero have both the roots in common has have both the roots. in common for example take alpha and beta then we can write alpha plus beta is equal to minus b1 by a1 for this alpha plus beta equal to minus b2 by a2 similarly alpha into beta will be is equal to c1 by a1 and here alpha into beta is equal to c2 by a2 if we apply to bit of algebra we'll get a1 by a2 
will be equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 this is a condition for two quadratic function to be coincide when they have both roots in common will get a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 that is the two quadratic equation will coincide with each other and the graph will be like this this is your first quadratic equation this is your second something like this they will have two common roots this is your alpha and beta these are the conditions of common root oblique common roots now we will find the maximum and minimum value of a quadratic expression if you are given y is equal to a x square plus b x plus c where small a not equal to 0 then we can form a perfect square here how as i already did when i find the graph of this function i written this as a into x plus b by twice a whole square plus 4ac minus b square by 4a the value of the quadratic expression will depend on this when it is zero then it will get either maximum or you can get under minimum value now number one case one when a is positive when a is positive and x equal to minus b by twice a that is this is zero x plus b by twice a is zero when x equal to minus b by twice a then y will be is equal to 4 ac minus b square by 4 a this is the minimum value this is the minimum value of the quadratic expression and case 2 when a is negative and x equal to minus b by twice a for a negative and x equal to minus b by twice a will get y is equal to 4 ac minus b square by 4 a this is the maximum value of the quadratic expression now the maximum and minimum value will depend the sign of a and the value of x when a is positive and x equal to minus b by twice a then y equal to 4 ac minus b square by 4 a is the minimum value and when a is negative and x equal to minus b by twice a then y equal to 4 ac minus b square by 4 a is the maximum value of the quadratic expression we have to remember the sign of the a is the main thing here when a is positive then the graph will be downward parabola and when a is negative the graph will be upward parabola when the graph is downward parabola we will get the minimum value and when a is upward parabola we will get the maximum value of the quadratic expression no one If alpha and beta be the two roots of a quadratic equation, then the equation will be minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha into beta. If you are given the root of the quadratic equation, then you can find the equation of this type. x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha into beta.
we will really find the quality equation. In next video, we will discuss some problems of quality equation involving the basic formula and the basic concepts. I already discussed in today's video, and we will discuss about the sign of quadratic function. That is, we will discuss about quadratic equilibrium. It is very essential for board levels and for entrance level school problems to solve. Okay, we will meet in the next video. Thank you. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel and hit the share button.